DR Congo's President Chisikedi sworn in for second term amid disputes. The Democratic Republic of the Congo's President Felix Chisikedi has been sworn in for a second five-year term following highly contested elections in December. I am taking back the baton of command that you entrusted to me. We want a more united, stronger and prosperous Congo, Chisikedi, 60, said during the inauguration ceremony in the capital on Saturday. I am aware of your expectations, he declared, referring among other things to unemployment, youth, women's rights and national cohesion. With tensions simmering in the vast nation's volatile eastern provinces. The leader known as Fatsha picked Kinshasa's 80,000 capacity martyrs sports stadium for the inauguration ceremony. The stands were packed well before midday with singing and dancing in full flow awaiting the arrival of several invited heads of African states and traditional chiefs from the country's 26 provinces. Chisikedi was first sworn in as president in January 2019, after controversially defeating Joseph Kabila. He won the first time promising to improve living conditions in the DRC, which boasts mineral riches but has a largely impoverished population of 100 million and put an end to 25 years of bloodshed in the East. The Congolese president has not kept those promises, but this time around, he campaigned strongly on his first-term achievements such as free primary medication, asking for another mandate to consolidate the progress. Discontent, colon. The Congolese president made a landslide victory in the December 20th elections, winning more than 70% of the vote. The election had more than 40% turnout, with some 18 million people voting. Even before the results were announced in late December, opposition candidates, including businessman Moise Kotambi who finished behind Chisikedi with 18% of the vote, said they rejected the results and called on the population to mobilize. The logistical problems included many polling stations either opening late or not opening at all. Materials were sometimes lacking, and many voter cards were rendered illegible due to smudged ink. Voting in the election had to be extended into a second day, something local observers and civil society organizations have deemed illegal, and parts of the country were still casting ballots five days after election day. Martin Fayulu, who has said he was also robbed at the last presidential vote, garnered 5%. Nobel Peace Prize winner Dennis Mukwege, who won the prize winner for his work with rape victims, scored 0.22%. These candidates called for the election results to be cancelled. Katambi and Fayulu had appealed to supporters to each show their discontent on Saturday. They urged people to stand up and say no, from wherever they happened to be. AFP reporters said tires were burned Saturday morning on the streets of Goma, the main hub of the conflict-torn eastern province of North Kivu. In the provincial town of Beni, also in the east, youths tried to set up barricades but police intervened. The Electoral Commission, Sene, has recognized cases of fraud, vandalism and intimidation, as well as the use of illegal voting machines. The DRC has a history of disputed elections that can turn violent, and many of its citizens harbor little trust in the country's institutions. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.